Last time I showed you how to paint your first miniature, so today I'm going to share with you three easy ways to base your first miniatures. Rebel Rogue. Hello and welcome to another episode of Rebel Rogue. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell. Whilst many people enjoy painting their miniatures, few people stop to consider how to base them. This can be a challenge at the best of times, but when you are just starting out, this can be very difficult. So to avoid you having hordes of plain plastic bases, today I'm going to show you three simple ways to base your first miniature. Stick around until the end, where I'll show you a simple way to make easy basing look that bit better. To begin, I build up the gap between the edge of my miniature's pudding base and the rest of the base using multi-purpose filler. I apply it with a section of coffee stirrer and shape it with a cocktail stick. You could instead use silicon shapers or clay tools. The first way to base your miniatures that I'm going to show you is to apply a ready-made texture paint or coloured texture paste, such as Vallejo Texture Paste or Games Workshop Texture Paint. For this model, I am using Astro Granite from Games Workshop, though you could use any paint that you wish. I apply this carefully using old brushes, though you could use some very cheap brushes or a clay tool for this purpose. I then leave it to dry for a decent amount of time. Whilst we wait for that to dry, why not consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video? The second, slightly more complex way to base your models is to use flocks and ground covers. For this, I would recommend using a pre-mixed ground cover such as Geek Gaming Scenic's Base Ready range. For this model, I'll be using Base Ready Tiger Hillside. To begin, I paint the base with Vallejo Charred Brown. No primer is necessary as the filler absorbs the paint. Next, I apply a thinnish layer of PVA glue, or you could use Geek Gaming Fast Dry Basing Glue, to the surface of the base. Finally, I coat the base in the base ready. There is no set way to do this, I prefer to use the base almost like a scoop, but for larger bases you may wish to sprinkle it on. Do make sure to tap the base to remove excess both before leaving to dry and after as the base ready can clump up quite a bit. I prepare the final, most complex method in the same way as the previous method, charred brown base, as well as applying a layer of PVA glue. Next I gather some materials. I chose to use some oven baked soil and some small rocks that were sieved from the building sand, though you could use a range of materials from sand to slate and even grated cork. Finally, starting with larger pieces of gravel, I apply the materials to the base. The soil I used has been sieved, so it is very fine, though I make sure to powder some of it between my fingers as I apply it to ensure that it fills the gaps. You may need to use super glue to attach some larger pieces to the base, though I would recommend not going overboard. Less is more as they say. Finally, I paint the rim of the base black, though you can use any colour that suits your base. I do this to all bases as I like it to be nice and clean.
Now the first base that I showed you is not as detailed as I would like. For me, this is not a base I would call complete, so here is a simple way to fix that. To fix it, find a lighter colour or two to apply to the base. To apply these, we are going to dry brush. This involves wiping a lot of paint off your brush onto a paper towel, then gently brushing the brush across the base. This deposits a layer of lighter colour onto the base without obscuring the darker colours too much. I did this with several light shades, but if you only have one, then I would recommend finding a much lighter tone to use. Do make sure that the paint you are dry brushing has been shaken properly and that it isn't a texture paint as they will not work. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video and it has shown you just how easy basing can be. Tell me in the comments which of these you think turned out best, and I'd like to thank Luke at Geek Gaming for making a great product in the base ready range. I will link my playlist of basic techniques for you to check out and improve your painting, as well as a video I made on a diorama style basing. I will also link a playlist I made on painting space marines if that will interest you. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.